If you're looking into getting into live performance, uh, one thing that I might suggest is getting an SP404. This is what I use. It's the SX model, so it has an SD card in it. So this comes from a long line of SP models by Roland, and it is typically used as a beat making device. That's kind of the history and culture around it. And so it is in that way considered an analog DAW. It has a pattern sequencer on it and ways to uh, record and edit samples that you find. Um, however, I personally use it as a means to trigger parts of tracks of mine so that I have a track going while I can play my instrument, but then when I'm not playing my instrument, I can DJ my own tracks by hitting one of the buttons on here. And I can show you some of the different parameters that I typically tend to use in my track flipping. And yeah, we can just get into it that way. I'm gonna start with a track of mine called Bringo. And before I even get into it, um, there are some pads up here that are pretty uh, common to use. But the one that's kind of like the money pad is the multi effects pad. And mine's covered up by a sticker, but you can kind of start to see like the menu of effects. So each one of these different buttons, and they'll actually like highlight as you go through them. Each one of these is a different effect. So for instance, this is reverb, this is delay, this is chorus, this is a flanger, and it goes all the way through, I think like 24 different effects. So in essence, you have these multi, uh, multi effects that you're using in order to alter your track live, and that's typically what DJs do. So it's just like a really neat thing to do. So yeah, so before I even trigger the track, I'm gonna hit the filter here. I'm gonna bring the cutoff all the way down. These three knobs are the parameters of each one of these effects. This one's just a volume. So I'm gonna bring the filter all the way down and then I'm gonna trigger the track. I'm gonna hit hold so that the track stays. And then that way you can kind of bring it up as a filter sweep, which is a very DJ thing to do. So now we're kind of rolling. We have an isolator and then these three become your low, mid, and high frequencies. You can also bring those down. So it sounds like you're underwater. This one's super cool, the DJ effects. So what this does is this kind of works as like a vinyl warp. Um, and then these two are kind of like the glitch effects. So this is on or off. And then this is like how much it repeats. So for instance, and then this one. And again, very DJ things to do. And then let's say that I wanted to bring in the flange. And it's important to do it on the beat. And this is the feedback. Delay. And then reverb. And et cetera, et cetera. So there's so many different options that you can do with this. And one of my favorites is, of course, Final Warp. That's, that's essentially how I use it. So when I'm not DJing, I'm playing, and when I'm not playing, I'm DJing. Thank you. 